Hi, I'm Only Trails, and welcome to season two. I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the endgame, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on hard clues, but after I've completed 100, I will move on to elites. When I've done 50 elite clues, I'll move on to monsters. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Well, a new episode bears new challenges. The very first gargoyles task. 119 gargoyles. I'm pretty excited. Time to make money. Well, I couldn't say I expected this, but I guess it's a welcome sight. I, I'm not I'm not sure what I can do with it, but if we ever go PKing, I guess we have a web... I, I don't know. It's, it's a nice collectible, I guess. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm making a lot of money here, though. I'm starting to like gargoyles. Right before the system update, we have time for a little bit of a dopamine rush. King Korask over here, about to give me 2,700, and... You know what? A rune longsword? I'll take it. This is such a clusterfuck. <laughs> Holy fuck. I just came in, this guy's King Korask spawns, I was like, I thought that was mine. And then suddenly, <laughs> suddenly I got one. Which is pretty insane. What are the chances of that? But I'm not complaining. Two King Korasks in one task? Alright, are we actually gonna get something? No. You guys know the drill by now. Task is done, got a brimstone key, yada yada yada, let's get that bread. Boom. That is the worst one. Alright, we're going to hit 85 strength, which I called last episode actually, and apparently- Yo! <laughs> That <laughs> big coincidence. Unfortunately, that is not the leaf bladed battle axe, which I still need. This is my fourth leaf bladed sword. <laughs> but anyway, 85 strength, still a long way from 67. Uh, 76, slay. And here we go on the most beautiful Konor task you can get 60, no, 76 slayer. I don't want to use too much breath on this level. There's just one thing I want to say. Let's get some wild pies. Complete some clues, and get those goddamn room boots. This is something we haven't seen in like, eight episodes or something. <laughs> 68 hunting. Uh, nothing special, I think, unless I can barehand nature implings now. Which actually might be the case. Yeah, alright, that's not too bad. Anyways, I'm catching 1000 eclectic implings again. Because I need my wild pies to kill the necreals for attempt number two. And that is 63,000 more XP for the next level, which means 2100 more eclectic implings till the next level. Here we are again. Filled up all my empty jars, which means we're back in business. 862 eclectic implings, hopefully 10 wild pies, probably about 9, which I'd be happy with, and probably another 35 clue scrolls or so. This is the very first time for me to enter the farming guild. Hopefully we can get in. There we go. That's a medium. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at all those music tracks. Anyways, this medium clue required me to go to the farming guild. So boom, that's that. And I'm going to quickly drop all my seeds into the seed vault. Not all of them, but the ones I can miss because my bank slots, I only have four left. By the way, I've reorganized my clue tab. As you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. And I know I will have to put it in my player owned house one day or the other because I can't keep it on my bank forever. I don't have the bank space. But I just love having a tab like this. I'm probably going to keep all my herb seeds, except for like marantils. I'll get those out. There we go, that's everything. Don't know whether I should keep these. I'm probably never going to use them, but... Anyways, we cleaned up about 30 spots, so I'm quite happy. Let's keep going. Alright, the last eclectic implings have been opened. Now, how many wild pies and clue scroll caskets did I get? 7 wild pies, 22 caskets. Now, let me quickly show you guys what the drop rate is, because we got incredibly unlucky. Let's say we got 850 eclectic implings, I think it was a little less, but this is the drop rate of the wild pies, so we're actually over drop rate on the wild pies, which is not too bad. But, look at this, the drop rate of the clue scrolls, I went 12 clue scrolls under the drop rate, that is actually insane. Anyways, let's open the caskets, get those ranger boots or spike manacles out of the way, and get those room boots. Another big moment, 22 caskets, I want at least 5 uniques, let's be honest, come on, let's go! This was absolute trash! Boots, absolutely thin. Oh my, that is unique though. I think this is all new. Okay, it's starting to look up, 5 more. Yo, I think we just completed the whole crier outfit! I think we did. I think we just completed the whole crier outfit. I'm really happy with that. Is it only the crier coat, the crier bell, and the hat? I do think so. Holy shit. That is amazing. Three more caskets. Can we continue the luck streak? 
That is double unique, but I got both of those already. This one is also... Holy shit! Starting to catch up. Lost Casket, can we do it like the last one? Can we get boots in the Lost Casket again? No, another pair of Gnomish Firelighters. You know what? I'll take it. Three new uniques. Maybe the T-Plate Skirt is unique. It is not. Is this new? No, and no. Let's get back to the neck reels. But before we do that, I quickly want to show you guys the collection lock because you guys have been wondering what we have unlocked. I don't think we went over it the previous episode, so I'm quickly going to go through it. Clue scrolls, beginner is 7 out of 16. I really should do more beginner clue scrolls. <laughs> Easies, unfortunately we started doing easy clues before the collection lock came out, so we're really short on all these, but we have a couple more than what is already in the collection log. The easy clue grind is for sure one we still have to do. Medium clues is probably the best one, but we also have completed the most medium clues out of every single clue we've done. So far, the rarest items we still have to get are these two boots, the Holy Sandals and the Spike Manacles, and the Armadale Crozier. Uh, furthermore, the Adamant Cane, the Arceus Banner, and the full Golden Elegant are still chase uniques. The Wolf Mosque and maybe the Wolf Cloak are also a bit rarer than usual, I think. Heart Clues, not that many done, so still a lot to get, especially, especially from this top page here. Probably need everything. Uh, one to everything too, and as you can see not that many we have gotten yet, especially the heraldic helmets are still chase uniques because I still need those for clue steps. But we got pretty lucky on the blessed tea height though. I have done 760 clues in total, but now let's go back to the necreals, let's get what is ours, let's get those room boots. <laughs> We're boosted up to 81. Well, we just dropped down, but we boosted up to 81. I really want those room boots right now. I need them. Right now. Jesus Christ, hit it, dude! F***ing hell! My heart is literally pounding so bad. I need this within this trip, lads. <sighs> Come on. That's another f***ing room to H. I don't need that. Oh, shitty specs. F***. How does it drop so fast? That's bullshit. Come on. F***ing hit, dude. Jesus Christ! Five double zero. This is actually ridiculous. Oh my god, that's zero. Just double zero again. Holy sh! Do they not want me to get? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no way! That just happened. It's over. It's over. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the room boots on our fifth necril kill. What the fuck? Random people are joining in. <laughs> this guy is so confused. He just said, so what's happening? Everyone just left? What the hell? First they tell me to dance, then they leave. <laughs> Amos Grantas. So wholesome. What a lad. What a lad. Just in case you guys don't remember, this is the clue we've been fighting for for about f two months. About five weeks, six weeks, something like that. And we need a Mystic Fire Staff, the Room Boots, and a Diamond Bracelet. Now, I've got the items for a Diamond Bracelet, we've got the Crafting Level, we've got the Room Boots, but the Mystic Fire Staff, this guy, can turn my Fire Battle Staff into that thing. Now, for that, we need to complete the Scorpion Catcher, and on that note, we've just done it. <laughs> Probably one of the easiest quests in, in the RuneScape, but I have a feeling I say that on every single quest. But now, I want this thing to be Mystic. There it is. Mystic Fire Staff. Now let's make this diamond bracelet and put this six week to seven week grind to a rest. We're ending it right here. We've got all the items on. The room boots, the diamond bracelet, and the Mystic Fire Staff. Let's head bang into destiny. Yuri, give me that next step. Let's get it over with. Never am I going to struggle again with this room boot step. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I got it twice in the same clue? I'm so happy I can just smile at that clue now and just complete it. This is going to be the last step of the clue scroll, so I'm going to bank everything. Um, except for the stuff I'll need to kill the Saradoman wizard. We're drawing to a close. <clears throat> I just have something in my throat that was not me getting emotional, I swear. <clears throat> Here we go. The casket we have strived for for so long. Well, not really this casket, because the previous one we dropped. I'm sure you guys remember that. Give me something beautiful. That is not even a unique, but I'll take the 46 law roots. <laughs> you know what? Me getting the room boots is all the RNG I need for the day. Let's get some new heart clues. Oh, this is, this is a goddamn relief. 
Yo, so many people on the CC showed up. This support is incredible. You guys are fucking amazing. Yes, there he goes. Look at that. Big party from Malpaster. Hey, dude, get that cape. Do the emote. Let's go. Oh, there he is. Look at that. It looks insane with that outfit. Congratulations, dude. We gotta get back to the Clue Scrolls. You know what we're getting back for probably the fifth time. <laughs> This whole series, in every single episode, we basically have to get the Ring of Wealth upgrade scroll back. And there we go. Now let's try and not lose this Ring of Wealth in the first episode, right? I want to at least keep this one for two episodes, <laughs> then I'll be happy. Oh well, I decided to open one beginner clue, just casually, didn't want to even mention it. <laughs> and I got my second pair of bear feet. Oh, I would have loved the demonic feet or the mole feet, but I'm not even gonna say I'll take it. I won't, I don't take it. Took a little break from everything just to do a couple beginner clues since we opened one, the previous clip anyways. So we've got an easy clue and two beginner clues. I want to get that top 50 spot back actually. So let's just throw in a couple beginner clues every episode again, right? Let's do the easy one first. Oh my god. Instantly drop that trash. <laughs> You know, that's probably the amount of law runes I spent on these two, so thank you for giving me them back. What the- since when is there a wizard hat in these? The next two beginner clues and one easy casket. Let's do the easy one first again. I'm still looking for that golden chef's hat. It's just not coming to me. Beginner clues, one unique, please. Disappointed. Disappointed! Here we are again. Double beginner. Let's open the beginners first. You know what? Maybe we'll get lucky. That is absolute trash, and that, oh my god, that looked really weird. I've never gotten a black blade skirt before, but it's not good. It's not good at all. Let's open the easy one. Oh my. All right, the lost easy and beginner clue caskets from this episode, then I'm going to go straight for heart clues. Try and do at least another three or four. Here we go. Open the beginners first. Let's do this. Nine coins. That is probably the worst reward you can get again, and this is not much better. All right, easy clue, casket. You know what I want? Golden shifts hat. No, not at all. Oh my god, the legend just strolled in. <laughs> there he is. There he is. If I get a hard clue now, this guy's rigged. If it's not this one, Tholin's power do not work every time. But hey, Aww. Yo, what the fuck? We just got it on drop rate. We got it right on the drop rate, I think. Oh no, one over. We got it one over drop rate. Yo, that feels great. Let's go. It's been a while since I've seen that on the floor. Holy shit. Are you fucking kidding me? You know, it's been a while. <laughs> but we got a rune heraldic helmet clue, and I can't do shit about that. I don't have one. I can't get one. So, in the pyramids of pyramid plunder, goodbye. Fuck you. Fuck. No, this is bullshit. Come on. What? Twice in a row, dude? You kidding me? Oh, that's just stupid. All right, let's see. Third clue's a charm. We finally got a casket. By the way, I was talking to Dragon here, and he said I could also do Chambers of Zeric, aka Raids 1, for elite clues. Uh, so far, for elite clues, because we're getting closer, it's probably going to be in the next two episodes. I'm going to need a couple ways to get elite clues. So far, I have Barrows, Lava Dragons with the Ring of Wealth Eye, and Chambers of Zeric. Do you guys have any other ideas? Do you think Chambers of Zeric is a good idea? Or do you think that doesn't work with my restrictions? Since I probably have to do some skills inside the raids, right? Or maybe I could AFK it, I don't know. Just leave it in the comments if you have any suggestions. Without further ado, let's get that third age, baby! Give me one reason why this clue is 101k. There is no way. What is worth are the purple... That's disgusting. Okay, let's say... Let's calculate the clue without the purple sweets. I just got a clue... A heart clue of 7.7k. Right, while getting the eclectics, I also collected a couple of magpies. Magpies have a 1 out of 50 chance of dropping a heart clue. I've got 32 of them, so please be kind to me. Come on, 1 out of 50. Yes! That was quick. We might actually be able to get another one. Fuck. Oh shit. It finally happened. Amulet of Glory. I need an uncharged Amulet of Glory, which requires 80 crafting. I guess we know what to do for the next episode. We've got a massive grind ahead, nine more crafting levels. Well, let's say eight if I really want to boost for it. But I think this is a great way to end it. We got a new challenge going right before the next episode. Currently, we're on 797 total clues and 62 hard clues. As I said, on 100 hard clues, we're going over to elites. So that's only a couple more. Strap in, because the next episode will have a big crafting grind and hopefully a lot of hard clues. See you next Wednesday.